All right. Did you see that deal, Brandon? I know you did. Um, where the kid goes to the Kansas City Chiefs game. <laughs> yeah. And they tried the dead spin journalist, quote, journalist, tried to uh, just absolutely ruin this kid. Yeah. By saying he was uh, engaged in blackface. See, th- <laughs> that's such a funny thing to accuse like a 10 year old of doing as though a 10 year old knows what blackface even is. Right. I yeah. mean, the kid, God bless him. He was so proud of his little costume there. I mean, give it to him on that headdress. And, and oh, and let me tell you something. If you ever if you're ever around a headdress, don't ever put that thing on and post a picture of yourself on social media. They come at you. It's insane. I mean, these people, they come at you with a religious fervor. How dare you? How dare you, you son of a... Anyway, um, but uh, they were taking pictures of the kid from one side. All you could see was the black, as you see in that image right there. Well, the other side of his face was red. Yeah, it's hilarious that a, a Deadspin, which is a sports website, yeah. doesn't know the colors of the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. Like, this... This is almost worse than Covington to me. Like, I don't think it'll get as bad as Covington escalated to. But, like, th- there were 30,000 other people in that stadium. If he had been in blackface, I feel like somebody else would have noticed. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not like he was um, – um, yeah. Uh, anyway. So, uh, what he said was, uh, he said, it takes a lot to disrespect two groups of people at once. And I remember, he's talking about a 10-year-old kid. Um, but on Sunday afternoon in Las Vegas, a Kansas City Chiefs fan found a way to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time. Um, of course, he put the blame on the boy's parents and uh, demanded that the league face accountability. While it isn't the league's responsibility to stop racism and hate from being taught in the home, they are a league that has relentlessly participated in prejudice. Here we go. <laughs> if the NFL... <laughs> it's if, so silly. It's such a... This shouldn't be a thing. Well, it's just like Colin Kaepernick doing the video saying that this was modern-day slavery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, $80 million modern-day yeah, slavery. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> um <laughs> but if, again, this guy says that the league has relentlessly particip- relentlessly participated in prejudice. If the NFL had outlawed the chop at Chiefs games and been more aggressive in changing the team's name, then we wouldn't be here. Just eradicate them totally from history. Let's don't honor or celebrate or recognize anything. Don't don't you dare have any fun at the expense of a Native American. I mean, God forbid the Florida State Seminoles or the Atlanta Braves do the tomahawk chop at the time of a rally. God forbid they send a guy out on a stallion at the beginning of a game to toss a spear down on the 50-yard line at a Florida State home game. God forbid the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, where are the Cleveland freaking Indians, dude? I mean, give me back my Washington Redskins. And I hope, I wish the Redskins would lose every freaking game. They're not the Washington Commanders. They're the Washington Redskins. They're not the Cleveland Guardians. That's gay. That's dumb. That sounds like, that sounds like a WNBA team. Cleveland Guardians. There it is. And while I got to admit, it ain't the gayest shit you've ever seen. It's real freaking gay. Uh, anyway. I do love that that dude doubled down after people were like, "Oh, he did." Hey, you know the other half of his face was red, and he's like, "Well, well, then that just means he was doing double blackface." Like, what? Yeah, he's ten, dude. Like, what? I just I don't understand the point of doing this anymore. You look stupid. Well, and the dude's name is Karen Phillips. C A R R O N. Oh, I'm sure his pronouns are in his bio. And I would love to see what Karen... You know what I want to do? I'm going to look Karen Phillips up because i got an issue here. Uh Uh-oh, i got a text message from my kids. They've discovered that another one of the kids got some money. So so they probably want some. Um, So Karen J. Phillips, he's a black guy. Are we we allowed to say that? Um, We're allowed to admit that he's a black guy. Um, And, uh, yeah, he's, he's a black journalist, again, that's questionable when you use the word journalist. Um, <laughs> so anyway, he said, for the idiots, why are you discriminating against dumb people, man? For the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some harmless act because the other side of his face was painted red, 
I could make the argument that it makes it even worse. Y'all are the ones who hate Mexicans but wear sombreros on Cinco. <laughs> uh, FYI, Caron. Caron. <coughs> we also drink tequila, which has to be made in Mexico or else it's not tequila. So I, I don't know how much we hate Mexicans. I love them a lot. Um, for those pointing out that my argument was stupid, rest assured that I'm capable of making an even more stupid one if pushed. If pushed. <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, Libby Emmons, our friend with Post Millennial, she said, uh, this man ruins the life of some poor kid for the crime of wearing face paint at a football game, and he really thinks he's the good guy. Uh, our good friend Savannah Hernandez said our society is so soft and coddled that a 12-year-old with face paint on is enough to bring men like this to their knees. Oh, boy. Yeah, just ruin this young fan's life with your lying headline and misleading picture. It wasn't blackface, nor was it about race. It's about support for the team. Uh, I mean, the kid's celebrating. Uh, the kid's celebrating. The Chiefs. I don't think he was thinking he was a Chief. <laughs> I hope he sues the brakes off Deadspin for that. I hope. Now, you mentioned uh, Nick Sandman. You mentioned the deal with yep. the uh, that deal. I hope this kid gets rich. I hope so, too. I hope this kid gets this super the, mega that's rich. That's the only way these people are going to learn. Sue him into oblivion. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, uh, because we know the ramifications of what comes from stuff like this. You make an article like this. And what are you doing? You're engaged in some kind of cancel culture. I mean, look at how they come after uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, which y'all should go get Kyle's new book. Hey, look how they come after Kyle Rittenhouse the way that they do. I mean, the kid was acquitted, um, found not guilty by a jury, and it was he acted in self-defense. Uh, he took some pedophiles off the streets. Um, you could question the motives of why he was there, and you question all that stuff. I mean, everybody could question everything. I see videos all the time on Instagram where somebody shoots somebody else, and people are like, "Oh, everybody's got a, some legal defense opinion," um, and everybody sees things differently. But again, that's life, man. Everybody's got an opinion on something, but you don't just go in there and just try to overwhelm people with cancel culture. And uh, it's a kid for crying out loud. I thought he looked pretty good representing. I wore my Santa Claus outfit to the Texans game. It does make me feel like I wonder if that dude's ever actually been to a football game. Yeah, one would think. I I used to go to Clippers games, and you'd see Clipper Daryl there there all the time. Yeah, no one accused him of trying to be white because he wore a suit. Yeah, I mean, and you've seen how these kids put on their their grease paint, right? Their eye yeah. black stuff oh, yeah. to go the play other their kid games. They tried to say he was doing blackface, and, and now like, they're smearing never it seen... down their face. Which I said a yeah. long time ago. I was like, them kids are gonna get in trouble with that stuff because some moron out there is gonna accuse them of trying to do blackface. Sure as shit, two weeks ago, that's what happened. Yeah. Idiots.